Hi, it's Mark Owen from East Market Tomorrow, the editor of Punchline Magazine today. The Grove Up in Strad just been opened. I'm with Siobhan Bailey again, the MP for Strad. Hi, Siobhan. Hello, me again. Well, look, fantastic. 18 months it's taken to open this place. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us, you know, what you think is going to, you know, the, the impact it'll have to the business community? Yeah, I mean, 18 months to do the official opening of today, but it has been active, and we've been hearing today about all the work that's been going on online during the pandemic. I mean, the idea of the Growth Hub is to make sure that we're connecting businesses to skills and the young people that come to college here at SGS know what's available locally. I mean, we don't want brain drains. We don't want people thinking that they have to go to another area or go off to London or go anywhere, really, to get a job. We want them to know exactly what's here because we are so blessed locally in Stroud and Gloucestershire with amazing businesses, uh, many of them small, but incredible businesses, as we saw yesterday at the Gloucestershire Pop. Now, the big problem that we have in Gloucestershire also is that a lot of people send their kids to university. Let's be honest about it. We're screaming out, screaming out for apprentices. How do we convince those people that actually an apprenticeship is better than a university place? Well, we're screaming out for employees. It's not just apprentices. We, you know, we know that there's about 1.2 million vacancies uh, in, in the country that need to be filled. Businesses want to employ your kids and you and help you reskill to make sure that you stay. But what we know about further education, unfortunately, is people are very favourable for it, but for other people's children. That's what, the, that's what the evidence has told us over the years. And of course, we had previous governments, previous to me, a long time before me, that made a drive to get 50% of children into university. And what that did was got kids into university courses that wouldn't necessarily lead to jobs. And then the, the, uh, the remaining 50% were effectively forgotten. We had a paucity of funding going into to FE colleges like the one we're stood in today. SGS is an amazing facility. So we are changing that. And I'm so proud that this government is genuinely listening, uh, mainly because I've been bothering them and loads of others have been bothering them to do that. So we've finally got a skills bill going through the house. We've got funding backing that up. There will need to be more. But we've got the, the brilliant, brilliant colleges that can really deliver, deliver those Thanks very much, Ron. Always nice to see you. Thank you.